Welcome back. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. All right, we're done talking Barbie for now. We love those back to back segments about how some viewers are cashing in on the Barbie hype. But today we are all about the letter P. It feels like Sesame Street, Dr. Lori. It does feel like <laughs> Sesame Street. Sesame Street's great. It's yeah. just like so Barbie. much fun. Today's <laughs> Dr. Lori segment is brought to you by the letter P. Today is P. Starting with Pocket <laughs> Watch. Right. And this one is sent in by Jerry. Yep, so all our objects start with a P. This is an Elgin Pocket Watch from the early 1900s. They tell me it's in working condition. It also has the sweep dial or the what is basically the second hand dial. Um, you can notice by the font that it's from the time period between about 1920 and 1935. It's gold plated. It's in the original box. What do you think? Hmm. Is it engraved in any way? And would the engraving make it more valuable or less valuable if it is? Aren't you a smarty pants, that smarty skirt question. today? Yeah, I do what I can. <laughs> very, very good question. Yes. When it's engraved, it can impact value because most people don't want to watch with somebody else's initials on it. Right, right. Unless it's a famous person. So, I'm, I, unless it's a famous person, exactly, Heather. So um, basically, I have not been told that it is engraved, so we're going to go with that there's no monogram there's no, on it, okay. that it's clean, as, a, as an antique dealer would say. I don't mm. know. I don't know. What did you say? I didn't say yet. Are you saying it? I, well, Are you saying it, it right now? Yeah, I, I could say it right now. What did I you could say? say it right now. I, I said $90. I said $350. Mm -hmm. Worth $150. Oh, oh, David gets a point. All right, I'm closer this time. All right, now we're moving on to the next item, and also a letter P item. <laughs> so this is a painting <laughs> sent in by Linda. So tell us about this, Dr. Lori. Look at the moody sky in this painting. Uh, That's what I would be looking at. I'd be looking at those clouds. Mm. This is an Alexander Baranowski oil on canvas. It's a landscape. It's signed. It's 30 inches by 25 inches, which is a standard size for uh, American landscapes. I really love the sky. I think it's very beautiful. Tell us more about old Alex. Uh, basically, um, an early 20th century artist, an artist who, in fact, is known for landscapes uh, and had some pretty big commissions. Works are in museums. Hmm. So this is an original. This is not like he did a bunch of these. This is an original signed painting right. with this That's fabulous right. original sky. Work of art. Yes. Okay. Original sign. There's not multiple prints of this anywhere. You're not going to see this coming up online every place. Right. You know, but this is an original. Yeah. And does the frame in this case add value? The frame adds value. For a 25 by 30 wooden frame like that, you could add $150 for the frame. Oh. So you know it's at least worth $150. Right. Now add on to that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just picking weird numbers now. Okay, what'd you say? I said three hundred and one dollars. <laughs> I said eight twenty-five. Five hundred bucks. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I think you still get the point. I think I'm still closer. Yeah. All right, so I don't have a chance at winning, but let's try the. Let's P. continue on anyway. <laughs> this game's going swimmingly. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's, what's the last P? You won, David. <laughs> you oh, a P. I mean, you two every day with you two. I don't know how people do it. So okay. I wasn't sure. It's a piano, piano baby. baby, and I wasn't sure if it was like piano baby, like, right. but it's. <laughs> it's like a baby to go it's on your piano. piano. I don't know. Did you guys take piano lessons? I didn't take piano lessons. David takes so, piano I mean, lessons every day. Well, <laughs> no, oh, not God really. Lovely. But I did take lessons from my grandma Ramona when I was a kid. Yeah. I think I think part of this is instead of us having, you know, the family having to listen to you doing your piano lessons, they put the piano baby on the piano, and that piano baby would have to listen to you do your lessons. Oh, I right. see. <laughs> <laughs> it's hand painted. It's bisque porcelain ceramic. It's a figural piece. It's very realistic. It's from the early 1900s. It's in beautiful condition. I mean, it looks like it's going to crawl. crawl this this child's going to crawl across the piano. It's very dangerous. You. you should not let children uh, climb yeah, on top. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. put an actual baby on top of the piano. No. Now, yeah, is it well, pro probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Another reason I'm not a mom. You know. <laughs> is it made by like a a ceramic a ceramicist that is That's famous? The word. Yeah. Yes. 
It's a German manufacturer, relatively well known. They made a lot of, they made plates, they made uh, toilets, they made piano babies, you know, anything that they could make with, of course, ceramic, they made. So. You got your toilet. You got your piano, baby. What do you need? All right. Well, that's how it was. David, you know? come on into my shop. I got, I got toilets. I got a piano. I'll throw in a piano, baby. You buy a toilet, I'll throw in a piano, baby. I <laughs> think a lot of stuff was my point, David. No, no, we love it. All right, Heather is saying. $75. I said, what did I say? $125. <laughs> Mommy, laugh, no, I can't stop laughing. $75. Heather gets the point. At oh, least I'm on the okay. board. Okay. All right. <laughs> Dr. Lori, thank you as always for the laughs, and thank you at home for sending us your pictures. It's always so much fun. I love the piano, baby. It was really cute. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dr. Lori. Uh, you can send your pictures in to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.